Hello and welcome to my channel and my new video. Over here I have the Mudmaster GG1000 and I'm gonna show you how to set the time and date and other watch functions. So let's get started. From the standard timekeeping mode and that is the mode where the watch tells the time, press and hold the upper left button until you hear the beep and there it is. Now the watch is in the set mode and first in a row of settings is our city code set. Name of the town is written right over here, so it says Berlin, but you can shuffle it by pressing the upper button or lower button to shuffle between the cities or corresponding time zone. I'm gonna leave it at Paris since that is my time zone. Next up, press the mode button over here, and now we move on to setting our DST value. Is the DST on or off? In my case, DST is turned on, and I'm gonna shuffle it by pressing the lower right button between on or off. I'm gonna leave it at on, and once done with DST, I'm gonna press the mode button, and now we are in the position of setting our time format over here. As you can see, it's flashing 24 hours, which means that we are in the 24 hour time format, but you can shuffle it by pressing the lower right button, between 12 or 24 hour time form. I'm gonna leave it at 24 hour time form. Next up, press the mode button. And as you can see, the seconds are flashing. This means that we are in the position of setting our seconds value, but you cannot set the exact value of seconds. What you can do is reset that value to zero simply by pressing the lower right button and it will go to zero. Next up, press the mode button once again, and now we are in the position of setting our hour value. As you can see, the 14 is flashing, which corresponds to 2 p.m., but I can shuffle it by pressing the upper right one or lower right button to decrease it or increase the value until I get it to corresponding time. Next up, press the mode button, and now we have the minutes flashing over here. It's a bit hard to see because the hands are on the, uh, in the way of the minutes digital digits, but you can shuffle it by pressing the up, upper right button or lower button to decrease the value. Now, once you're done with your minutes value, you can again press the mode button and we at enter the year setting it is flashing 2023 o'clock a uh, year, and it is correct, but you can increase it or decrease it by pressing the upper right button or lower right button until you get it to exact year that you are in. Next up, press the mode button once again, and the this digit flashing corresponds to my month value. Number six corresponds to month of June, but you can decrease it or increase it by pressing the lower right button. Next up, press the mode button again, and we have our day value flash. It is flashing number 28, but today is 29th, I believe. So pressing the upper or lower right button, I can increase or decrease the value until I get it to corresponding date. And there it is. It's hard to see, but you get the pressing the upper or lower right button increases or decreases your date value. Next up, press the mode button and we are in the button operation tool. Is it on or off? Key standing or inscribed in the lower digital display indicates that the button operation tools are on, but you can shuffle it between on or off by pressing the lower right button and it will say mute over here and it will stay on mute uh, written over here once you are in your standard timekeeping mode. I'm gonna leave it at on and it will be inscribed key whilst, uh, once, uh, while I'm setting the watch. Next up, press the mode button once again and now we are in the position of setting our illumination duration. What it is? Well, basically this three flashing over here indicates how long will the light stay on written on the watch when you press the light button to see what's the time. 
L3, LT3 indicates that when I press the light button, it will stay on for three seconds. When I press the search button, I'm shuffling to one, indicating that the light will stay on for one and a half seconds. So basically, by pressing the lower right, right button, it was shuffling between LT one and a half seconds and LT3, prolongating or shortening your illumination duration. Once that is set, press the mode button again, and we are back at the beginning, and we have ran through the cycle of setting the time and date on this watch. To implement the settings, simply press the adjust button, and the watch will now implement the settings that we have just ran through. Auto light function. What is auto light function? Well, when you flick your wrist to see what's the time, the watch will automatically illuminate the screen. To turn that function on from the standard timekeeping mode, simply press the upper left button and hold it for about three seconds. So let's go, holding it. And LT3 is inscribed over here, indicating that the auto light feature is enabled. To disable it, simply again from the standard timekeeping mode, press and hold the upper right button. Press it a bit harder, and there it is, it's gone, and the auto light function is disabled. That was a, another tutorial video on my chat. This time it was the Mudmaster GG1000. Thank you very much for watching, and if you are into watch-related content, please subscribe. So thank you.